a lot of um, rehashing and reminders and, and just happen, having to go back through things that you thought you already worked through. First and new at 11, the holidays are usually a time of celebration, but for families with a missing loved one, it can also be a source of pain and loss. And thanks for joining us at 11. Bob Chivak with you tonight. Annette is off. And first up, News 13's Adriana Lawrence spoke with the Q Center for Missing Persons and also with the family of a local missing man about the impacts that the holiday season can bring. Monica Kaysen with the Q Center for Missing Persons told me holidays, anniversaries, and birthdays are a traumatic reminder for many families. It reminds them that their loved ones aren't there with them. Living in that constant every day, um, it, it's like living through a hurricane and you never get to clean up. Imagine waking up every day not knowing where your family member or friend is. That's the harsh reality many people experience and at a heightened time during the holidays. Monica Kaysen says families naturally gather during the holidays. A lot of the time that leads to family members asking for updates or how you're doing. It creates a constant um, trauma, but it also creates a lot of um, rehashing and reminders and, and just happen, having to go back through things that you thought you already worked through. Kaysen says the holidays can be triggering for many wondering when or if their loved one will ever walk through the door. One Darlington family told me this is exactly how they felt for the past several months. LaHenry Yarborough went missing on February 4th. He was last seen at the hut on Spark Street in Darlington. Yarborough's family says the last update they got was a few months ago, but they're still left looking for answers. We were so used to him coming every weekend and on Sundays to eat dinner with us. And he's not present to do that with us, especially Christmas. Yarborough's brother Howard told me the past several months have been heart crushing and emotional. He says he just wants his brother back in his life. Hope that our, you know, my, my baby brother will just walk back into our lives, you know, with that energetic, uh, everlasting smile that he as always have, and we can just move on and go on with our lives. LaHenry's brother asks anyone who knows where he is or what happened to him to contact the Darlington Police Department. In the newsroom, Adriana Lawrence, News 13.